As you guys know, Google is doubling down massively on AI, and they announced a while ago that their most powerful AI large language model, Gemini, will be used directly within the Google Ads interface. Google says this will help advertisers create assets at scale much more easily, much more quickly, meaning that onboarding as a new advertiser into Google Ads is much more simplified because of the help of AI. When they announced it, I couldn't wait to test it, but I haven't had the opportunity to do so yet, until right now. So what I want to do with you is walk through using the new system in Google Ads to help build assets for campaigns, to see if it's any good. I did a video a while ago using ChatGPT and Google's own AI system Bard to see how it can create assets for campaigns and ChatGPT was excellent. It basically did it flawlessly. So Google has a very high bar to jump over and if it's like anything like Bard was in that test then Google probably aren't going to do well here. So join me as I go into Google Ads and start developing assets using this new AI system and walk through to see if it can actually do the job and more importantly importantly, how to actually use it and guide it to get the best results and to see whether or not it's actually worth it. So let's jump in right now and take a look. Okay, so here I am in Google Ads and I've gone through the campaign setup process to set up a search campaign. I've not shown what I've done because everyone by now knows how to get started setting up a new campaign. I've got to the step of the setup where I'm going to create my keywords and ads. So as a starting point to help creating the ads, it says to enter your URL. So I've got an, a website here which is a very well-known big plumbing website here in the UK. So let's see what this tool can do with probably the biggest plumbing company in the UK. So let's go in and add the link and see what happens. So I've entered the link there. It's generating. I don't know what it's going to generate, but let's see what happens because I'm learning as much as you are at this point as well. So what it's done there is it's read the URL and it's found basically what the product or service is by scanning the website. So all of this information in here has been pulled from the website and by looking at it, it's pretty accurate. So plumbing, heating, leaks, bathroom installation, HVAC, all of it is in there. So for, for a starting point, putting the URL in, this seems good, this seems correct. So I'm happy with step one. Now let's see how interesting things get when I click this blue button here for step two. So now it's generating everything for me. It's generating keyword suggestions as a starting point. Let's see how well it finds keywords. Okay, so the process is complete with the keyword suggestions. This is very few keywords. So when you think about it, Google has a, a keyword planning tool that allows you to find loads of keywords for your campaigns and you can extrapolate those and put them into a campaign to maximize volume. In this instance, Google has read the website using um, what I was hoping was good AI being their biggest AI large language model and it's found precisely five keywords. Five keywords. So this to me is a mega, mega fail. Big issue. So for a starting point, I would say my straight up advice for this is do not use this tool for keyword research and keyword discovery. Make sure you use the Google Keyword Planner and do your own keyword research. It's clear that AI is not even close to doing this yet. Right, so now we've got that out of the way. The next step is to go on to the assets themselves. Now, there is this conversational element here and we can see a bunch of assets have been created. I can see there have been 15 headlines and four descriptions generated. Let's take a look at them and see if they are any good because I can see already the ad strength is set as excellent, which is an interesting start, meaning there's a good variation of headlines and descriptions. Because remember, ad strength is not a score of how good the ad is or will perform. It's how closely you're following Google's guidelines for what they want to see in your ads. And of course, if Google's generating them for you, which it has here, you'd expect nothing less than an excellent score because Google should follow their own guidance. So let's have a look at these headlines. So brand, brand, okay, two brand headlines, that's fine. Top level heating and plumbing services, plumbing, electrics and more. London's number one, trusted for 40 years, 24 seven availability. Clear and upfront pricing, property maintenance, appliance services, emergency, electrical services. So generally speaking, actually, these aren't bad. They're a bit short, which means they're not using up all of the real estate. You would definitely want to add maybe some call to actions on the end of some of these or maybe put more interesting parts into these ads because they're very short. So like, for example, this one here, 
you could add plumbing company on the end of this and still be within the character count. So I think as a starting point for ads, I wouldn't just submit this, even if it's got an excellent score. I would never submit this. I think these are a pretty good start at a bunch of headlines for your ads. Descriptions, only two, interestingly. You can have up to four descriptions, of course. They only allowed you to create two. So interestingly enough, I think that's a fail on Google's part in itself. I think they should be able to create more variants of description. And looking at this, they're not great descriptions. Again, the character count could be more on the first one. The second one's a little bit better, but in reality, it's not describing the, the, the kind of selling points or talking about the customer's points. I think it's just describing what the business is. And I think that's a trap a lot of advertisers fall into when writing ads. They don't write about the unique selling points, about the benefits to the customer, about the, 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 the reason the customer is getting in touch. All they do is basically copy and paste an About Us page, which is what this sounds like. So it's not ideal at all. I think the descriptions are a bit of a fail. So, so far, looking at the process, keyword list is a fail. The headlines are a half point. I'll give them I'll give them a half point. And then the descriptions to me, I'd give a fail. They're not great. They haven't generated all four. So definitely not a good number of descriptions. Now we can see in this chat section here for the AI system, there are some images that have been generated that we can use. Now, I'm going to be honest, I don't know whether these are stock images or AI generated images. I think they might be AI, but let's take a look at, look at some of them. Let's review these images. Let's click this button and have a look. So what do we have? We have a guy on the phone with Pimlico, which is, means it's taken from the website, which is good. So that's actually branded a branded asset. There's an old van from when the company first launched. So it looks like these assets are all taken from the website, so they're not actually AI generated. These are all assets taken from the site itself. So generally speaking, this could be okay as long as the website images are, are good. But in all honesty, you might want to create your own images outside of what's just on the website because it's an advert and your website might not necessarily have the right images for every service and relevancy that is going to be provided, especially if you're a service based company and you're not a visual product company. So in all honesty, I think these images are okay. They're not bad. I think from the website, it's fine. I'm happy with these. I think this is a pass, but this isn't AI. This is just crawling a website. So in terms of an AI test, this is a fail. So we've got the images, we have the headlines, we have the descriptions. It hasn't generated any other asset types in terms of call outs, promotions, anything like that. The only thing there are the basic account level preset ones. So it's not created any other ad extensions. With AI being this powerful, you would expect it to also populate these because again, it is Google's best practice. We've got more options here. There's some site links it has as well. So it hasn't created any other assets but site links and images. Let's review the site links and see if they pick the most important services up. I can see already looking at these site links, it's linking career opportunities. Now, obviously with career opportunities, it's not a sales page. You would never want to direct any traffic to this page ever at all because you're trying to convert customers into sales, not trying to hire for your business. So this is a big fail because it didn't understand the context of what you're promoting. And Google's AI should understand that promoting career opportunities on a page where somebody's got a leaky tap, that's not going to that's not going to be good. So to me, this is also a fail. I'm going to be honest, I'm not that impressed at the moment. This is Gemini. This is Google's best AI large language model. And I am far from impressed right now. This is this is this is pretty bad. So now we've got the options to do more in the chat box. What I might do is I might put in a new prompt to see if I can generate better site links. So if I put in I don't think the site links are good. Please generate more relevant links based on services, not on company info. Let's see what it does. If you want more relevant site links, you should edit your ad. <laughs> So Google's AI is saying no. Sorry, we've generated them for you already. Now let's see what happens if you do it yourself and you go in and make the changes. Yeah, this is this is awful. This is not working at all. It's a conversation and style of, of chat, but it's not actually conversing with me. It's basically just said, no, it's not going to do anything for me. 
let's try one more to be fair to it. So there's only five keywords generated. I'm going to ask it to do more keywords to see if we can at least resolve that issue. So there are only five keywords you generated. Please generate more to cover all of my services. Let's see what happens. All right, okay. <laughs> I am unable to help you with keywords at the moment, but I can help you with headlines and descriptions. So there you have it. For me, this is atrocious. This is awful. And people wondering and worrying about whether or not Google needs um, agencies and freelancers to help businesses on board with Google Ads. If I was a new business and I came in and put my URL in and then wanted to run ads, at the moment I'd be running a campaign with five keywords okay-ish ads, no ad extensions whatsoever, and just a completely terrible, terrible setup. So for me, I think this tool is a massive fail. I think Google will evolve it over time, but right now in its current position, it is just a bit pointless. So guys, stop worrying. Google aren't even close yet. They haven't even caught ChatGPT yet, and ChatGPT can't even do everything you need in a Google Ads account. So for me, this tool is a fail, and I really, really hope Google try and improve it because it could actually be good in the long run, but right now, it is completely pointless. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments if you think that Google has got the right idea here in using AI in the system and whether you think you will be using it as an advertiser in your campaigns in future. I reply to all comments on all of my new videos. Like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to head over to darren-taylor.com for help with your PPC campaigns and I'll see you guys on my next video.